Let's see what's new at Knott's Berry Farm. Are you ready? Let's hit the road. everyone another edition of let's hit the road jack and we're here at Knott's Berry Farm and today uh, we're getting towards the end of summer it's about a week or two left of summer uh, before uh, Labor Day but uh, schools are back in but we still got the hot weather so came prepared for that but uh, we're gonna be checking out some new stuff here at Knott's Berry Farm including the brand new ride that just opened this summer Calico River Rapids we're gonna check that out today and uh, spend the day here at Knott's Berry Farm and see what's going on. Always something going around, going on around uh, Calico in the ghost town there. So uh, let's take a look around and see what's going on right here at Knott's Berry Farm. We begin our ascent today on an Orange County landmark that has been flying guests over Knott's Berry Farm since 1976. The Sky Cabin, which you are currently riding, was originally built in Switzerland and transported in several sections through the Panama Canal to Knott's Berry Farm and has been soaring ever since. We would like to now direct your attention to outside your window as we tell you some of the sights you will see. To the south you will see Hangtuck, which takes riders up a 15-story lift hill and suspends them at the top before descending down a 96-degree drop. To the east, you will see many sites within our ghost town, Fiesta Village, and Camp Snoopy areas. That mountain range, for instance, is our Timber Mountain Log Ride. It was the first theme log flume ride when it opened in 1969 and remains to this day one of our most popular attractions. Just beyond those tall pine trees is where you'll be able to set up camp with the Peanuts Game. Camp Snoopy, which opened in 1983, was the first theme park area that was dedicated to children under 12 years of age. In the distance, you can see an ancient Aztec temple, which is our Jaguar attraction, a family roller coaster that sends passengers on an exciting tour around Fiesta Village, through the loop of Montezuma's Revenge, and around Reflection Lake. Speaking of Montezuma's Revenge, it opened on May 25, 1978, making it not very far as longest standing roller coaster. Montezuma's Revenge is an exciting ride that catapults passengers out of the station at 55 miles per hour. After a moment of weightlessness, the train zooms down the tower, backwards, goes back through the loop and passes through the station of a second 112-foot tower, then back down the tower into the station. Just to the north, you'll see Accelerator, a high-speed 1950s theme roller coaster that uses a hydraulic launch system to catapult guests from 0 to 82 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds up and over a 205-foot hill and a series of hairpin turns, all in under 22 seconds. To the west is the Boardwalk Bay, which features our family coasters, Coast Rider, Pacific Scrambler, and Surfside Gliders, on which riders pilot their own two-person aircraft for a scenic view of the Boardwalk Bay. Partner, say, uh, I happen to notice you got yourself on a brand new nice pair of bright blue pants. Say, uh, what kind of cowboy are you? Say, uh, you ain't too tough, is he? You ain't a tough guy, is he? Well. I reckon I better mosey on up out of these pots. 
before they hang me up on my neck till I'm dead. All right, we're having a good day here at Knott's Berry Farm. And if you hear any noises in the background, it's the Wild West stunt show going on uh, right next door over there. But um, uh, having a good day, stopping here at Sutter's Grill for a little bit of lunch. We got ourselves a barbecue burger basket. And uh, of course, can't come to Knott's Berry Farm and not get the berry punch. So I got some of that. But uh, we got uh, a few operational issues today. Uh, we came in, we got uh, Sierra Sidewinder was closed, so I went over to Montezuma's Revenge and that was closed too. And then a little bit later on I went over to Accelerator and that broke down and that had a few issues today. So that's three rides broken down today. Other than that, I uh, got on a lot of rides so far. Uh, everything's uh, walk-on, the crowds are very low today. And uh, so that's always fun, getting a lot of stuff. But. Uh, it's getting hot and there's not a whole lot of breeze, so I'm looking forward to that Calico River Rapids a little bit later on. We're going to enjoy this burger, walk around, and see what else is going on right here at Knott's Berry Farm. That's a beautiful sign. I love it. Uh, let's take a look around. It's time to hit Calico River Rapids. We're going to take a look at the uh, off, a little bit of off-ride footage. And I'm going to try to film on ride. I'm not sure if they're going to allow it or not, but we'll give it a shot. But uh, here we go with Calico River Rapids. We're going to do a ride through and then I'll be back to give you my review right here at Knott's Berry Farm.
seat. Please remove all loose articles such as hats, glasses, bags, and electronic glasses. and my overall impressions, thumbs up, I love it. It's fantastic. These animatronics are really great. And uh, most of it you can see from the queue line. If it's cold out or you just don't want to get wet for whatever reason, go ahead and go through the queue line and check it out. It's really cool. And you go through a log cabin. It's really great theming inside. And uh, But there is a couple of scenes you can only see from the raft, one of which is the, uh, the guy that lives in the cabin. He's a hunter, or uh, I gather. Uh, and then the, you go through the tunnel and there's the Bigfoot. Bigfoot's in there. Um, <clears throat> the concept art, if I remember right, made Bigfoot look a lot more menacing and bigger than uh, what he is, actually is. He's a lot smaller than what I remember from the concept art and a little bit silly looking. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, the rafts are uh, repainted to a light brown and green colors. Uh, they could have done more theming on the rafts, like at California Adventure, they've got cargo netting and backpacks and oars on the backs of the rafts and things like that. So that would have been nice, but the colors look great. So uh, overall, thumbs up. Come by to no uh, Knott's Berry Farm, check out Calico River Rapids. Fantastic retheme. Thumbs up. I love it. As a matter of fact, I didn't go on it again right now. I didn't get all that wet. But these rides are kind of hit and miss. If the geysers get you, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. 
Uh, depends on how your raft spins. So, uh, but it's really hot today, so I'm gonna go on one more time. Uh, Calico River Rapids, thumbs up. Uh, let's see what else is going on around here at Knott's Berry Farm. Yes. <laughs> I'm already famous. I want to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for dinner. So we stopped by the Fireman's Barbecue uh, over here in Ghost Town, and I got myself a, uh, a jumbo hot dog. And uh, usually I put uh, mustard and relish on, but I decided to change it up since I'm at the Fireman's Barbecue. Just put a little barbecue sauce on it. Looks really good. Not super hungry. Uh, you can choose your side. So I could have got a baked potato or corn on the cob, which is grilled as well. But instead, because uh, I'm not super hungry because it's so hot, I just got some uh, potato chips and, uh, and uh, a Coke to drink. So uh, we're going to have this hot dog and then be winding up our day here at uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Closes at 6, uh, just under an hour from now. So, uh, but great day. We had, I really liked uh, the uh, Calico uh, River uh, Rapids. Really fun ride. Uh, I highly recommend that one. Of course, always great to go on the train and uh, lots of stuff to see uh, around Ghost Town here at Knott's Berry Farm. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be coming back real soon for another day at Knott's uh, in the near future. So uh, another, look for another video coming out real soon. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. So uh, you know what that means. It's time to say until next time, we'll see you on the road. Oh, uh, howdy, partner. Say, uh, I noticed you got a brand new pair of bright blue pants on. What kind of cowboy are you? 
say, uh, think he's tough? Is he a tough guy? Well, I reckon I better mosey it up. Ah, I missed. Oh, uh, howdy, partner. Say, uh, I noticed you got yourself on. <coughs> Oh, uh, howdy, partner. Say, uh, I noticed you got yourself on a, a brand new nice pair of blue, bright, oh, man. Oh, uh, howdy, partner. Say, uh, I noticed you got yourself on a brand new bright blue pair of pants. What kind of cowboy are you? Say, uh, is this a tough guy? He ain't tough, is he? I can't oh, uh, howdy, partner. Say, uh, I noticed you got yourself on a nice brand new pair of bright blue pants. What kind of cowboy are you? Say, uh, he ain't a tough guy, is he? He ain't tough, is he? Well, I reckon I better mosey on up out of these pots. Oh, yeah, I can't get. Oh, uh, howdy, partner. Say, uh, I noticed you got yourself on a nice brand new pair of bright blue pants. Say, uh, what kind of cowboy are you? Hey, uh, he ain't too tough, is he? He ain't a tough guy, is he? Well, I reckon I better mosey on up out of these pots before they hang me up by my neck till I'm dead. Thank you.